Hey guys, Sidesaber here, and today we're taking a look at my Redstone Pulse slash Timing Delay Detector. The way this device works is it relies on a series of chained RS NOR latches with specific timings and certain delays that go to um, that detect a pulse or a change in a state from off to on or on to off. Uh, from 3 till 10 or higher ticks. Um, based on the length of the pulse that it's received, a certain amount of these will be set, and then with this XOR gate array, a unique torch will be powered on, and it goes to my little 7th segment display decoder display here, which will then alert the user to the exact pulse length that the device exhibited. So first I'm going to show off the delay. This is a 5-bit program counter that I made. Currently it's set to 01111 so when we increment this these will all be toggled and then so will this one. And so our input to output delay for this one was 5 ticks. A repeater here and repeater here to, um, as the wire couldn't reach the necessary inputs. Now to detect a single pulse, we'll reset it and I'll make a monostable circuit and this one will be a 7 tick pulse so trying out the pulse detection and we get a 7 tick pulse detected. Um, to detect something else, like maybe we want to detect a, a 3, I'll replace this one, we'll reset it, showing the lower bound, and this should be a 3. Sorry, I set that to 4. This one will be a 3. There we go. Blame the user, don't blame the device. Okay, and just following these signs, you can connect a input to this section here. Um, for a z detecting a from starting from a 1 to 0 um, transition you plug it into this slot for a 0 to 1 transition into this one and so on for the outputs going into here you just need to make sure that the delays due to the wiring of your device um, are compensated for as well otherwise you may think you get a five tick but in reality it's seven because you forgot to account for the um, the two extra that you put on the input because it couldn't reach there. Otherwise that pretty much covers this. Uh, put up a schematic download for you guys so you can play with this yourself and you can extend it if you want. I left it at this because it was simpler to fit on a single screen and that pretty much covers it.